Hello, everybody. Welcome to Trading Day, May 28th. This is the Kuro Challenge. We have just over a month left until June 30th when we need to hit our 100K goal. Um, I am certainly trying to get there. Uh, Z, I believe today is your turn to go first. It is my turn. And well, the market was really up and then really down. And basically, SPY ended up exactly at the, the value that it was yesterday. Um, but fortunately, I put in a sell order for one of my SPY calls. And so I believe it was executed. So I think my portfolio is up to, my, my net worth is up to $1,400. Let's check it out. Ooh, man, you're climbing. Climbing slowly. And it is 1,358. So still okay. a climb, but not, not quite as much as I wanted. Wow, this is incredible. Um, when SPY was at its very peak, I was actually at 1,650. But wow. SPY came back, crashing back down at the end of the day. It was like, a, well, it, like the way it crashed was incredible, so. So check out that leap in value during the day. Like it's just a huge hump um, going, going up into almost $1,700 today. It's crazy. Wow. So I, I did a really great move, uh, of course. Otherwise, my value would have gone up and then all the way back down to zero, which is I put in this limit cell, which you can see on my transaction history. And I sold one of my calls for $565. Um, you can see I bought it for 195. So really nice gain on that one call. Uh, Spy 302, yes. Yeah. My, so you're getting really good at this, huh? I'm, I'm getting a little bit better yeah. of predicting like where the limits of things will go and, and the overall general direction. Where I'm seeing yeah. things right now if you look at my portfolio basically everything is worthless except for the spy call that i have um, and i'm going to hold on to that because i believe it will go it will go up to um 308 dollars in the next couple of days like maybe not maybe not friday but i think next week it will climb up there um so today easily yeah. So today, if it's if it is down a little bit, I will buy another call. Um, otherwise, I'll let this ride up, and then I will buy maybe a put, and then decide where the market, the general sentiment is going. So right now, I'm just going to be playing a spy because I don't have any big faith in anything else at the moment, um, or I, I don't have any big ideas about any other companies. And even when it comes to like Disney or Wynn or any of these other stocks, I believe that over the next two months they will move in a certain direction, but that doesn't really help our challenge much um, because I, I think that it will take a long time for that to happen. It's like when it happens, not sure, but it's gonna take some time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really happy with the last couple of days. Happy, happy. I'm loving your strategy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see you making consistent gains. You've made, you consistently gained in the last like three days, four yeah. days right there. Yeah. Despite these horrible decisions I made the week before. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, shall I jump into mine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick um, prediction. Um, my prediction is that my net worth is down into the low, I'd say low 5,000s easily, but it's okay because I'm trying out a new strategy, which I think could be quite fun to use as I, as I continue to uh, uh, play with options. So let me just like uh, open it up and I'll explain. Okay, uh, 5881. Oh, not as bad as you thought it would be. As bad as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, cool. Cool, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess 
I guess it's, uh, I mean, let me just send it over to you. Yeah. So I guess fundamentally, um, I'm still, like, I don't have any, like, great reason why I'm super bullish on uh, Disney, except that I, this is one of those irrational things. But essentially what I did yesterday was that I bought two really short-term puts, yeah. okay, uh, on both Disney and space. Yeah. Um, so, I'm thinking that what I'm going to start trying out is what I would call a bullish straddle. So I'm very much like bullish on these positions in the long run. Um, So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to buy like longer term calls like I've been doing like two months, minimum two months out. Yeah. But at the same time, buy these puts that should trigger whenever, so maybe like a 15%, 20% out of the money call two, three months out with a 5% out of the money put in the short term. Um, Look at the short term put on Disney that you bought yesterday. I mean, yeah. Wow. Um, Yes, crazy. I don't know why space didn't, um, the space put didn't uh, 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 gain more. I don't, I don't understand why. Maybe I bought it, maybe I have too much for it. But basically, yeah, it went, it's, it's already, space is already under 16.5 right now. Right, so, and maybe uh, just timing, because I see your call went down $300, but the put only went up 18. So maybe you bought it at the, at the bottom of that drop yesterday? Yes, yeah, so I bought, no, I bought it when it was already, I was bought it when it was 3% down, and it went 6% down. So Got maybe it. I paid the wrong for it. Maybe the spread was too much or something. But either way, like, I'm still, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think there is some, I think there's going to be quite a lot of pain, actually, uh, when, I don't know when it's going to be. I thought it was supposed to be earlier, but I imagine within the next one or two days, uh, uh, Trump's going to, like, do something about whole hong kong situation yeah he said end of the week so i guess we have today and tomorrow right but i think there's going to be some panic um and hopefully i can sell off these puts and then buy more calls at a at a at a, at a lower price yeah that'd be amazing yeah so just just uh again trying to narrow down my stocks to a couple that i'm feeling comfortable with yeah um and just playing this sort of like bullish straddle on them and, and just keep sort of like building up stronger and stronger call positions on them. Unless, because I, I just, I'm still, I'm still not, uh, I'm still, I, I don't believe the market's going to crash. So that's why. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all, that's all I have, but I'm excited to try out this new, this new uh, strategy. I, I like it. It, it's I like it because it's also somewhat similar to what I'm doing and uh, making some short term bets to to make some money really and then the long term things well like you are very uh, a big proponent of saying the market just always goes up stocks always go up yeah. uh, and I mean we're talking on like the 10 20 30 year time horizon uh, but in the short term, you can play uh, a different game and being able to do some of these puts and then longer calls, I think is a great strategy for you. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's all I really have. Uh, yeah, same here. One more okay. trading day until the end of the week. Actually, I'm really looking forward to the weekend already. So. <laughs> Are you need a break? <laughs> yeah, just I, that three day weekend was great. Like I really enjoyed not really looking at the portfolio much and not actively managing it. And even last night, um, I looked at it and I said, what do I want to have happen? And I'm like, well, if if SPY goes up enough, I want to make sure that I secure some of those gains, put in the limit order, and then I didn't look at it again. Um, so it was, it was like a 10 minute kind of glance at the market and makes, make that one move. That felt really good. Whereas I've had other nights yeah. where it's like four hours straight of just like looking at my phone, just going crazy because uh, I'm losing too much value or I'm making the wrong moves or the right moves, but really uncertain of my of my philosophy um, and ready to reverse course at any time. Yeah. 
I'm really, I'm really happy. I even was a little bit frantic. I was staring at the screen for a while, trying to decide what to do. Mm. And I'm very glad that I did what I did because if I just kept like six hundred dollars cash, well, I only have two hundred dollars cash, but like that four hundred dollars, like. Yeah, it's I, I like so far at least it's only been a day, but I like this idea of, um, you know, being able to benefit from instead of like freaking out, <laughs> like get excited when the market goes both ways in a way. Yeah, exactly. But the key thing for me is that I don't think I'll ever do a pure straddle because I will always lean towards one mm. one uh, direction. Right, it, like you won't do the same expiration dates, or something like. Or the same price. Got it. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Today was a nice, short, little one. Uh, I feel like we are finally getting the hang of things. Um, and if you enjoyed what you saw, please remember to like and comment this video and subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.